You know, um, we know you're busy, so we don't want to keep you too long, but we do like to end our shows with a nice lightning round where we kind of hit you oh. with some good <laughs> questions. Uh, you know what? Kind of get to know you a little bit better. That way people can leave here feeling like they do understand who you are. So if you're, uh, if you're game, we're ready. Let's go. I, what am I going to do now? Say no? Come on. You can't run. <laughs> you can't say Mr. Openness and Transparency and Accountability, then say no to the lightning round. I, you know, and we can make you... before, if you're watching right now, he's going to beat you this time. So, <laughs> <Buckle up. laughs> we could, you could be our only guest that we asked to like hold a plank or something while you answer the questions, but we, we'll, we'll let you, we'll let we you could go. Do, yeah. The, the, the pull up hold. Yeah, no, you, you have to have, you have to maintain that reputation as like, you know, a, a formidable uh, politician. <laughs> that's, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so um, tell us, um, one of the questions that people tend to love that we ask is, tell us about a public figure or a politician that helped shape you. Who influenced you? Um, I, it, it, certainly someone I didn't meet, but Abraham Lincoln, what he went through, how he continually, despite his dark, I mean, losing a child and the darkness of the Civil War, always showing empathy, always trying to understand the opposition, trying to heal, certainly win the Civil War, and certainly have the North prevail, but always with an eye on reuniting the nation and never hating his opponents. And we could use a little bit of that today. Mm, team of rivals. Yeah. I, I feel you. Um, what is the most difficult, the hardest part of campaigning? Uh, fundraising. Uh, I mean, I love going, <laughs> I know I love going door to door. I love, you know, the talks and <laughs> even, you know, going over strategy session, stuff like that. You know, asking people for money is not the easiest thing. You got to do it, but it's not the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's got to be a way to, you know, forward around that. We'll that point. As I joke, said, the way that's is maybe you like Robin. me and Heather. <laughs> right. uh, oh, Robin a bank, but that's hypothetical. Not right. really <laughs> condoning Robin a bank. What's the best part of campaigning? Knocking on doors? Meeting, meeting people. Meeting yeah. new people. You know, we had that, uh, we, you know, some of the people that are watching this may remember this. And again, I lost, but there's certain things that, I know I touch people and there was an ad that ran talk about my dad being incarcerated. Um, and there was a student from York city school district who saw the ad and wanted, instead of voting Biden Trump for president, wanted to have me versus Perry so he could vote for me. And he told his teacher and she told me the story. I never met him um, because COVID we just couldn't, I couldn't go into the school to meet him. Um, but that his dad was incarcerated. And because of that, because of him seeing that commercial, he knew he didn't have to be above. Representation, for sure. You never know who you're talking to. Right. So when you're traveling the entire state, what was one place that surprised you? Um, Erie is interesting because when you go there, you're on, like, it's big news. Was that Tim's answer? That was Tim's answer, too. Yeah, so yeah. when you go there, <laughs> as a statewide elected official, like, it's a big deal. Like That's all four said. networks are there. <laughs> they cover you. Like I was in, like, like if I go to Philly, like again, it was, you know, I love Philly. My mom's from there, but news wise, it's like, Oh, you know, maybe you get somebody to write a little line and on page <laughs> a 17. When I went to Erie, we're live in studio with the auditor general. Like I felt like I was the president or something. Banner headline the next day. <laughs> it was, and you, you, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you get because it's surprising when you're just an auditor. And not you just, it's obviously an important job, but there's only so much you're used to in media attention. Then you go to ear, it's like going, oh, this is what it's like to be president every day. A red carpet. <laughs> I can't can get a second home, like a vacation home up in Erie. <laughs> well, we did go to vacation there once, by the way. If you like the beach, but don't like the salt water and you like fresh water, Erie's great. And the Presque Isle is beautiful. They got a nice amusement park there. I hear I'm doing my showing for Erie. It's relatively affordable. Obviously, for us, it's far away. Um, and it feels like an ocean other than it's fresh water. I mean, there's waves and everything. It's, it's mm -hmm. I really, we, the kids were younger then, but we and we went there because still a little nervous about them getting in an ocean, all that other stuff. Mm. But um, mm -hmm. and so it was an ocean feel without being there. But um, I highly recommend it. But go in summer, not December. Nice, nice. Okay. okay. <laughs> if if we were to Good come to, to York, if we came to York, what would be a place you tell us to eat dinner? What meal can't we miss? Well, um, certainly the Left Bank is as good a restaurant mm. as it comes. 
Um, I would also say we got to catch a game with the York Revs. Um, I got to play a little at, at half an inning as a York Revolution player um, on Memorial Day. So that was a lot of fun. Nice. Um, but but um, this, particularly I would walk through the downtown. Um, Liquid Hero Brewing is mm -hmm. great local IPAs um, for the non-teetotalers out there. Um, and, you know, I, I like to say when it comes to, you know, particularly wine, um, for those that say, oh, is that okay? Look, one of Jesus's first miracles is turning water into wine. So I view that as <laughs> somewhat of a mandate. Um, and so, um, you know, so well, we've got a lot of good local pubs downtown, um, but a lot, a lot of good restaurants. But uh, I think the left bank stacks up against any restaurant in the world to be bought. Yeah, agreed, agreed. So you are known for uh, competing in like marathons, Spartan races. You're like covered in mud. You're rolling down the mountain. You're doing your thing. I don't really have a question other than like, why? <laughs> what drives you to like jump in ice water <laughs> to keep going? I mean, like you said, you pay for that? Yeah, um, uh, it, the, the serious answer is to become the best version of myself, to lean into the hard, to keep mm -hmm. finding out how far you can go. Like just this weekend, Mike, Mike, brain was saying stop um or you know and but i still had something left in the tank and you find out how far you can go i'm well past the stage of having any illusions of being a professional athlete or any of that stuff is to continue to try to learn from my mistakes and to be the best version of myself and i think pushing myself in those races when it's just competing against me helps me get there and i think it's a good lesson for hopefully my kids to see that they can be more than they think they can be um and for other people maybe it inspires just one person to get off the couch and start moving again. You don't have to do a 60 obstacle, 30 mile Spartan race, but I think particularly in COVID too many people were stuck on the couch and we need to get out and moving again. Actually, the Spartan race does sound fun with the obstacles. I think it's like a mental thing too, just jumping from one to one then rather it, just like pure marathon. It's actually, yeah, by the way, I've run, yeah, it, to me, it's not even close on a fun level. There is a symbolic nature to the Spartan race obstacles, which is, you're running in life, then you come to an obstacle and you got to figure out a way over it. If you fail, you do 30 burpees because sometimes mm -hmm. we come to an obstacle and we fail as well, but then you move on. The idea is taking it one obstacle at a time. It's actually meant as a symbolic representation of life. Wow. Did you do Ooh, burpees wow. over the weekend or did you make I it I did 60 burpees. Okay. All right. That's not bad. <laughs> yes. um, I mean, I'm pretty good on the obstacles. Okay. All right. Um, so I, I quoted Scott Perry. I'm going to now quote Tim DeFore. Um, he called you an amateur when it comes to Star Wars trivia. He said that he clearly was the better of the two Auditor Generals. You know, I'm I don't force know. joking him right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know who to believe. I don't, I really don't. Where do you think he ranks? Where do you guys, who would come out on top? If there was a trivia challenge. If there's a, yeah, look, I'll say this. He's pretty solid. But have you both in a trivia challenge. How about yeah. that? I'd say this, it's, it's a good idea. He might, he might have me, but I would say neither one of us should really be bragging about it being a contest. <laughs> <laughs> like, here we are. Because uh, here we are. I mean, but like, I remember, well, I sit here uh, in graduate school, somebody uh, wanted to, what are you guys talking about? And should we sit down one of those types of situations? I said, oh, talking Star Wars. Well, that didn't last long, right? So I recognize <laughs> that this is, you know, it is what it is, but we're both in the club. He might beat me, but neither one of us should be bragging about this. <laughs> That's a good answer, actually. <laughs> and then lastly, I just want to ask you, how can we help? Um, you know, how, how do we get enthusiastic? How do we stay optimistic uh, with everything going on? What are your thoughts on that? I think f people that are, anyone watched this probably is already doing this, but getting involved in your local community, getting involved with campaigns, mm -hmm. and knowing that I as much as boy we've had some darkness these last couple of years covid you know we all we previous administration all that stuff um i all the reason why we do this is we believe that the future can be better than the present and the past and i believe we are going to get there i believe a lot of these fights are going to be won we're going to have more social justice we're going to have better economic uh fairness but these are fights to get there and to just think that they're just going to happen without some struggle is fantasy land. Mm -hmm. It was hard for FDR. Yeah. It was incredibly hard for Abraham Lincoln. I, I, but if you look at the arc of where the country was at the beginning to now, boy, we still have our problems. There's no doubt. But we are, I think, in a much better place now than we were in 1863. 
Beautiful. Well said. Well, we know you are busy. We can't thank you enough for um, enlightening us, helping us learn a little bit more specifically about the 10th district, auditor generalship, all of that stuff. Um, so we just would like to end with a standing invite. You can come back anytime. You got, and I love that picture with the dog. That's, 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 a, <laughs> I should have had that one in the commercial. That's actually, that, that's another small video uh, of like fun pictures of you. I was telling Heather that I, uh, I was like puzzled trying to, oh my God, this is uh, to choose from all the achievement, the fun. I mean, you are an all-rounded person. I have the utmost respect and love to you always. But like going through your photos and everything that you have accomplished, uh, you have pictures that I don't even know you still remember, like looking very young in 2011. And I mean, just, <laughs> I like to think I still look kind of young, right? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, you are young. You uh, are know, very young. But that one looked like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, look at what you're seeing. <laughs> but you are like, when I, when I say it, I truly mean it, uh, an all-rounded human being, an amazing, awesome person, and a great politician. We, I know that, uh, you know, I, I had, that was one of the first signs that I had in my lawn, all the time, like yours. I was so happy and proud to get your, your, um, your sign during the election, and I had one in the back, one in the front. And I had some in my car. I was like going into war, like hanging your signs. I mean, that's that's what you uh, like, what you radiate. Like how I felt. I felt like this is personal. You are someone who are truly going to represent me, and someone who I want my kids to look up to and see. You know, this is this is a true leader. And I'm not saying that because you're in front, but you know, I'm like your number one fan. So when I'm not going to say if, when you run again, we are going to be there every step of the way supporting you. And we will be honored to have you representing us in any shape or form. So don't give up. Don't throw your towel. Never give keep up. Keep fighting. Never give up. You, always and, stay, and you never, always yeah? stay in the scrap. Always stay in the fight. It, it, truly, ne it truly never ends. Mm -hmm. And w what is this picture? Like, do you have any... A any that story? was we were aud we were auditing the dog law. Um, oh wow! <laughs> and so we had passed a historic dog protection law when I was a legislator. Then we audited and found out the Department of Ag was enforcing it. And this was after my follow up report when it started to get dramatically improved through, I mean, good work at the people of the Department of Ag and uh, my team and and my leadership. And so this was in a sense taking a celebratory round talking about all the improvements made. But you can see the sort of cheat on the photo op there. There's a hand sneaking in to make sure the dog doesn't move during the. Uh, <laughs> so you can see there, there's a hand there keeping the dog. I wanted in to place. say even the dog love you. <laughs> the dog was very that, professional. That was that was a fun day. Because <laughs> usually you're giving and that bad tells news. Tells a lot about a person. Usually you're giving bad news as the auditor general. That day was good news. That's amazing. That's amazing. But I mean, for everyone listening to us out there, uh, we have the website. Go check uh, our, our guest. Listen to what he says on the media. Listen to uh, or read about what he accomplished and how he helped uh, the people in Pennsylvania and anywhere for that matter, uh, passing some important laws and is still fighting and doing it with grace and with like fun having fun and it's still looking amazing <laughs> <laughs> heather yes um yeah stay, watch this space as as they like to say because i think there's going to be a lot of exciting things happening if you have any questions about uh specifically districts what district do you live in we can help you with that and as always, we just thank our guests for being here. You've been fantastic, and we appreciate your time. Thanks for everything. I really, I had fun. Look forward to the next time. Perfect. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day.